If you want to climb as fast as possible with very little effort, then this video is for you. Maybe you just don't have time to spam a ton of games to learn certain champions, or maybe you just want to escape low elo as quick as you can. Whatever the case may be, we are going to be setting you guys up with 10 stupidly easy champions that quite literally anyone can climb with. But before we get into it, be sure to check out Skillcapped if you want to truly get better at League of Legends. We're the only service that offers a money back guarantee if you don't climb at least 5 divisions while actively using our service. We do this because our service really does work, and if it doesn't work for you, you shouldn't pay. Learn more at the end of this video, or click the link in the description below. If you're a top lane main, especially in the lower ranks, and Malphite has not been in your champion pool this season, you're doing yourself a disservice. Malphite has been S tier for the majority of season 13, while being one of the most easy to execute execute top lane champs there is. The fact Malphite has a point and click spell in his E that can completely obliterate the DPS power of certain champions is kind of ridiculous. Champs like Aurelia, Trindamir, Jax, and Yone have so much of their power taken away whenever there's a Malphite in the game. Another huge perk to Malphite is that he has some of the easiest access onto priority targets for any top laner. Getting into that fed ADC and nullifying their DPS power with your attack speed slow is such an easy thing to do, but completely takes away a big source of damage from the enemy team. Let's also not forget that Malphite can quite literally build full tank, yet still output respectable damage due to the fact that his W and E scale with armor. The more armor you get, the tankier you are, and the more damage you deal as well, which is kinda gross. Standard build you'll want to run on Malphite consists of an Iceborne Gauntlet rush into Sunfire Aegis second, and a situational tank item third. Swap between Grasp and Comet for the Keystone rune, depending on the matchup. In melee lanes, running Grasp is going to work great, while Comet is going to suit you best in ranged matchups. If you'd rather play a fighter top lane champ who is more of a threat in the 1v1, one, then Garen is the pick. When it comes down to accelerating advantages or pushing leads, there's really no top laner more consistent than Garen. There are very few ways for you to actually mess up on the champion due to all of his damage being point and click, so when you find your openings to go in, executing is very simple. How often do you see players get leads on champions like Aurelia, Yasuo, or Yone, and then just throw that lead away by making a mechanical misstep? It happens all the time, but there are very few instances where a Garen gets a lead in lane and then just throws it away. As long as you play around your W cooldown with Garen, there's few champions who can beat you in a quick trade. Using Q, auto attack, and E will proc phase rush, and while you're using that combo, W will be active, so you'll get a winning trade off and then negate any return damage by escaping with the phase rush movement speed. Of course, once you get ahead, you can just dive champions on repeat, as there's no way for them to outplay your damage, and you can easily soak tower shots with your W active. The build you should be looking to run on Garen is one that high elo Garen one trick wrist has been playing as of recent. It's a stride breaker rush into double zeal and then hull breaker. We broke down this build more in depth in our recent OP builds video, so check that out if you haven't already. Jungle is a role that can be super high variance with each game, so to climb very easily and quickly from the role, we want to play champions who have well-defined win conditions. Shivana is the perfect example of this, and our first jungle selection. With Shivana, you have a very clear and concise power spike, which is your level 6. Prior to then, trying to force gank plays that just aren't there is not going to be worth your while. Unless you're 100% confident that a gank will work out, being efficient with your farm and hitting 6 as soon as possible is key. Speaking of efficiency, our multi-role challenger player Hector just finished a new course that covers everything you need to know about being efficient, which is now on our website for you guys. At level 6, especially if you are a level up on the enemy jungler, you can look to force plays way more aggressively. Specifically in the lower ranks, players just aren't going to have as much awareness around objective timers. This bodes amazing for Shivana because the more dragons she takes, the stronger she becomes due to her passive. The core build to run on Shivana consists of a Trinity Force Rush into Seraph's Gauge 2nd and Stone Plate 3rd. Press the attack is the keystone rune with triumph, tenacity, and last stand. Roll with conditioning and unflinching for secondaries. Our second jungle recommendation is another champ who has a very well-defined power spike. It's no secret Nocturne is a whole different champion once he hits level 6, so playing for that each game is super easy to do. You can look to adapt if free gank angles present themselves, but if there's nothing available that you're extremely confident in, full clearing and getting to level 6 as quick as you can is vital. What's great about Nocturne is that even if you get nothing done pre-6, as long as you're farming efficiently, you've always got the chance to flip the game in your favor at level 6. Level 6 onwards, it's all about playing around that R cooldown and scoping out potential gank angles before it's up. If you're ganking for a lane that has some nice setup crowd control, then every R usage should result in a kill. Try to avoid using R on lanes that offer no setup at all, because if the enemy has flash, it's less likely you're going to kill, and not getting a kill on Nocturne R usage is quite detrimental. The core build for Nocturne is a Stride Breaker Rush into Black Cleaver 2nd and Death's Dance or Maw 3rd. Lethal Tempo is the keystone rune, with Triumph, 
Alacrity and Coup de Gras, run with Eyeball Collection, and Ultimate Hunter for secondaries. This champ has become even easier to climb with patch 13.16 onwards as Malzahar is our first mid lane pick. Mal's just got a buff to where the tick rate on E was changed from 0.5 seconds to 0.25 seconds, so this makes collecting farm with the spell way more consistent. Buff aside, Mal's is such an easy mid lane champ to climb with due to his ability to provide value regardless of how well he's doing. You can be losing lane with Mal's, getting obliterated in the 1v1, but simply press R on the enemy Yasuo in a fight and suddenly you're 10 times more useful than he is. Of course, we want to avoid losing lane consistently, so here's a trick to help you out. Start the game off with Mana Crystal and Refillable Potion. Run Futures Market in Runes and take Teleport for your second Summoner spell. Focus on farming only throughout the first few levels. You can throw E's on the enemy for Mana Flow stacks, but you should not be spamming out Q for Poke. Survive until you have enough gold for Lost Chapter, come back to lane with the item, and your game just got a whole lot easier. The core built to run on Malzahar is Leandri's Rush into Rylai's second, and Demonic Embrace or Zhonya's third. Rune Page is airy with Mana Flow, Transcendence, and Scorch, followed by Free Boots and Futures Market for secondaries. More commonly seen in the top lane, but one of the easiest champions in the game to climb with from mid lane is Renekton. What makes Renekton mid so broken is his ability to dumpster the majority of melee fighters and assassins. Renekton plays extremely well into Yasuo, Yone, and Katarina, who are always played a ton in solo queue. Renekton's point and click stun from W completely shuts down the mobility and outplay potential of those champions. Even into ranged mid lane champs, he can hold his own due to the gap close from E. If the enemy mage misses a spell, it's super easy for you to punish. Another huge perk to the champ is the fact Renekton mid is very rarely played, which means the enemy will have much less of a clue what to expect. This will lead to them playing too aggressive when they shouldn't be giving you free trading windows to gain advantages. If you can master your trading game on Renekton, he's an unstoppable force, so our Master in Minutes course on trading can really help you out with that. The build to run on Renekton mid is a Gore Drinker Rush into Black Cleaver second and Sterics Gauge third. You want more burst power when playing Renekton against these squishy mid lane champs, so going for PTA instead of Conqueror is what we'd recommend. Making our way down to the bot lane now, Sivir is our first ADC on the list. Stalling out games and forcing the enemy into making mistakes has never been easier when playing Sivir. Static Shiv coupled with Sivir W and Q provides you with some of the most disgusting wave clear for any champion. It takes no skill at all, but can drag games out and lead to the enemy team making erratic decisions. In solo queue, players will become impatient very easily, and if you're just sitting there clearing wave after wave, they'll eventually try and force a play that goes in your favor. Less is often more when playing Sivir as letting the enemy team make mistakes and being ready to punish is her specialty. Two really good builds you can play right now on Sivir. The first being a standard crit setup that you really can't go wrong with. This build will be accompanied by Lethal Tempo for the Keystone Rune. The second being a more poke with Q style setup with Black Cleaver and Dusk Blade, which works best into squishier comps or comps that you feel are suicide to get into auto range against. Airy is what you want to run for the Keystone Rune when playing this build. Nobody comes close to matching Misfortune if we're talking about an easy champ who can bring you a lot of quick elo. The fact that so much of MF's power currently comes out of her ultimate due to lethality builds being in meta makes her even easier as well. You can be one of the worst mechanical players ever, have no clue how to kite, but if you can position in behind your team and wait for an engage play to occur, pressing R to follow up is all you gotta do. If you can just focus on playing around your R cooldown and hold off from forcing unnecessary plays when it's down, you're going to climb with misfortune. The build you want to run consists of a Ghost Blade Rush into the Collector second and Cyrilda's Grudge third. Make sure to run First Strike for the Keystone Rune with Magical Footwear, Biscuits, and Cosmic Insight. Absolute Focus and Gathering Storm are for secondaries. The easiest and most effective melee engage support you can play to climb extremely fast is Maokai. Forget about these hook supports. Maokai with his point and click root from W and Flash gives him the best gank assist for any support. There's no such thing as messing up an engage on Maokai because if you root the enemy with W, it's foolproof to follow up with Q and R to lock the enemy down for an extended duration. Maokai also has pretty respectable damage as well, which makes executing these all-in plays that much more easy. What's so great about the champion too is that you can very easily flip how you look to play based on each game. Is your ADC super fed and you just need to keep them alive? The peel power from W and R is some of the best for any support. Vice versa, if you're ahead and are looking to force the matter, looking for flanks with R can do wonders as well. The build you should run on Maokai's support is a Dead Man's Plate Rush into Even Shroud second and Thornmail third. Aftershock is the Keystone Rune with Font of Life, Bone Plating, and Unflinching. Grab Biscuits and Cosmic Insight for secondaries. When it comes down to consistently carrying from the support role, playing a champion who relies much less on their ADC to succeed will help you tremendously, and Zyra is one of those champs. Zyra can single-handedly chunk a squishy target for over 75% of their health with her full combo, which means as long as your ADC can follow up with one or two auto attacks, securing kills is very easy. Being a skill shot reliant champ, you really want to focus on vision control and finding picks to see the most success on Zyra. Landing E straight up can be difficult at times, but if you're using it from Fog of War, it's a near guaranteed hit. Zone control from Zyra is some of the best for 
any support with her ability to thrive in choke points, so it makes securing early vision around objectives before they spawn super key. The optimal core build for Zyra that will provide the most carry power consists of Leandri's rush into Rylai's second and Zanya's or Demonic Embrace third. Pick up Comet for the Keystone Rune with Mana Flow, Transcendence, and Scorch, while Taste of Blood and Relentless Hunter are the way to go for secondaries. Alright guys, before we wrap this up, let's tell you a little more about Skill Capped. So, we offer a 5 division rank up guarantee and think that's a pretty crazy thing to offer. It's like a gym membership guaranteeing you'll get ripped. Your local gym would go bust if they offered that, right? Not us. We've offered this for years because our service really does work. It works so well, in fact, that we're able to produce by far the largest catalog of premium league guides on the internet. We add over 20 videos a week. With over 1,600 guides curated into over 100 courses, no one can compare. We've also sent challenger players into ELO Hell 714 times and counting, where they commentate how to carry live. They also respond to all questions asked. Sign up today for as little as $6.99 a month if you are serious about improving. So there you have it guys, 10 stupidly easy champions that anyone can climb with for Season 13. Thank you all so much for watching, good luck with your ranked journeys, and we will see you back soon.